My name is Sameer Javed and today we'll be learning how to adjust margins for our page. So let's uh, start with uh, the setting out. So there's a ribbon in Word named layout. Once you select it, you have multiple options over here. So we'll be going through the options and margins over here only today. So as soon as you see this icon, you, it will give you uh, some information what it's all about. So you click it, so there are multiple options that are uh, available in Word. So uh, firstly, we select the normal margin. What it does is basically it adjusts the entire document as per the given margin. So this margin displays that there will be a one inch gap from the top of the page. Let's go to the top page and see, okay. So there will be a one inch gap over here. You can see over here, this. And similarly, there will be a one inch uh, gap at the bottom of the page, which we can also see over here. Let's go to a page that has, see, it, it will leave out a one inch gap in uh, on your bottom of the page. This is uh, just uh, for any headers or footers you want in a document or depending on what uh, page size you're using. And uh, secondly, uh, it will also have a right and left margins. Uh, so over here, this is a normal setting where it leaves out one inch from all the sides. So it will adjust your uh, content in the document based on, on the setting uh, these margins. Then we have narrow margins. What this means is your margins are narrower than usual and your content is basically adjusted as per those margins. This is uh, usually used when uh, you're not binding the uh, printouts or any document that you are taking a print for and simply attaching it so it maximizes the uh, content in a single line and uses up lesser number of pages however if you want to bind any document or you want to uh, clip it into a file then it's usually preferred that you use the normal settings moderate also uh, is an option over here what it does is it gives you more ample space on the top of the page and the side um, margins are a bit narrower. White obviously as uh, it depicts it's, it's usually used for uh, for settings where your document needs to be binded into a large file and uh, it adjusts the content based on that. So over here you can see the uh, left and right margins are uh, of two inches. It's a white space on both ends whereas the uh, top and bottom are the same. Then we have a mirrored option. So what it does is basically it uh, adjusts your document for uh, top for the for one inch space and the inside and outside of, of this document of the page is displayed as uh, margin as per the given distances so it's 1.25 for inside this is for uh, for the use where you're printing on front and back so it uh, it gives you space enough that your right margin is a slightly more than the left one and obviously word word 2003's default setting is over here as well which is only supported up till 2003 and uh, not onwards you can also set up your custom your custom margins over here. You can see that uh, you have an option to, you know, adjust these. For let's say, okay, I adjust this uh, left margin to 1.5. Uh, you can also see an option over here, cut cutter. So it actually cutter refers to the option where uh, you are binding your document into uh, uh, it will uh, into a large file. So you can place, uh, you can adjust this location over here. You can see so it, it makes sure that where in case your margins are narrow, you can still set a gutter position over here. So as to ensure that your document doesn't uh, get hidden in case it's binded. So you can bind it on top or your left. So this will help in ensuring that none of the content uh, of the document are hidden once your document is binded. 
it will adjust the content based on that you can see a real time preview over here which is an interesting feature and then you have the page orientation if it will be landscape or it will be a portrait based on what type of document you're using and uh, you can specify what uh, kind of pages you'll be doing if it's normal it will be a single page per uh, single sheet and then uh, you can also set up mirrored margins so you know that if you're printing front and back then how it will look like and in case you're printing two per sheets two pages per sheet then it will adjust your page sizing according to that and if you're printing a book then you can adjust that as well and you have multiple options over here sheet per booklet how many sheets are there so uh, all this uh, are the interesting features that then you can use let's go back to normal and then you have the final option over here which uh, gives you an option to apply these changes to the entire document or you can apply this uh, this point onwards so anything done before this particular page will remain as is and the changes that you've done to the margins uh, will be applicable from this page onwards until the end of the document so this this is an interesting option and you can also set it as default so if you do that by default it will uh, use these margins whenever you are uh, you are creating a page or creating a new file Word will consider it as default and you can change that very indeed. So if we do this then our content will be adjusted accordingly. So this is all for today and next time we'll be learning a few more things. Next time, take care.